season and, and next year be playing in the Championship with Doncaster. And can you put it into words what <coughs> making history this weekend, taking the club into the, the quarterfinals for the first time, what would that mean to you and, and the other players? Yeah, I think obviously you'd be you're gonna be proud. It's Doncaster, you know, is a, a town where people sort of don't expect to to always be really successful and people look at from the outside in and think, uh, oh it's little old Doncaster but you know in 50 years time when Cops is probably still playing for us it, <laughs> it'll be uh, you know to be mentioned in the gap of you know that being in that team that got to the quarter final and maybe further who knows um, it'll be nice to be spoke about in years and years to come so we want to be part of that if we can be Have you envisaged scoring this weekend scoring the winner potentially? Yeah I envision scoring all the time it's something that I'm big on is sort of visualisation and stuff so um, whatever game it is I always you know, not so much yet. Probably tomorrow night, I'll uh, wind down a little bit and and imagine scoring the goal that hopefully take Doncaster through and and hopefully it ends up being the winner. Thanks, John. No worries. Are you mates that coming up on in the way end? Well, yeah, they are. Yeah. Are you gonna pick them out? Yeah. Uh, I, hopefully, if I score, I might uh, give them a little wave. Let's say, <laughs> but yeah, they'll be um, they'll be enjoying themselves anyway. They're getting the train up, so it'll be good. You sat in the orange <coughs> effort. There's obviously named after the club's uh, most famous striker. Um, what would that mean to you to be to consider? Because you mentioned there's that opportunity for history and, and Alec were in that period where before when, when that wasn't sort of happening, but last time we got to the fifth round. What yeah. would that mean to you? Yeah, obviously, um, there's a lot of you know legends that have played here before for whatever reason, either the amount of games they've played or goals they've scored or what they've achieved. and just to be mentioned in that into Doncaster's history and that's one thing which is so good about history is that you can't change it um, you know it, it will be there forever um, and whether this Doncaster team does or doesn't get through um, it, we've already made a little bit of history by being the first team in 60 years but if we can just go that you know that next step then as I say 50 60 years time from now people will hopefully be talking about the likes of John Marcus Ben Wyman and Coppinger the names go on that you know, was played in in that cup run um, back in twenty nineteen or wherever it's going to be at the time. So, yeah, it's to be part of that and be part of history is something that you know we can be proud of if we can do it. Ali Jeffrey's got a bar. James Coppin just got a car park. What, what do you fancy having? Um, <coughs> I don't know. I'm surprised Cops has only got a car park. To be honest, <laughs> I think he deserves something a bit more than a car park. But um, I don't know. I have a chair or something named after me. <laughs> Same boring. Slightly off topic, John, but how was deadline day for you? Uh, fine, just sat at home watching telly and uh, popped to Asda. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it, really. Were you aware of any...